G'day, I'm JB and welcome to this special edition of 4x4 Adventure Club. Uh, we've travelled across to South Australia and we're base camping ourselves at Beachport. We're going to check out uh, between Beachport and Rove, so stick around and check out what we'll get up to. Well, we're uh, at the start of the track in Rove, on our way back to Beachport. So we're airing down. I generally start off at about 18 psi on the sand. Gives you a little bit of play to go down further if need be, but uh, that should get us through without getting stuck. Let's do it, our first challenge. Let's go down and power our way up the other side of the hill. Well, that was pretty easy. Bit of fun though. It uh, looks steeper from the other side, or softer, but yeah, no, pretty good.
Uh, how you going? My name's Greg and I'm from 4x4 Adventure Club and this is my 1991 uh, LN106 Toyota Hilux. It's got a, uh, a 2.8 litre 3L diesel, uh, Toyota diesel, and I've fitted a uh, aftermarket Denko turbo kit to it just to get it going a bit better on the uh, highway mainly really. Made up my own snorkel and everything like that and airbox just to get a bit more air into it. Uh, I didn't like the factory ones how they're on the passenger side so I thought turbos on the driver's side I might as well make the snorkel on the driver's side and something different. Uh, turbo's running about 18 psi boost at the minute. Uh, looking to up it, uh, raise it up a bit more but I'll probably have to do a top man intercooler first just to get the EGTs back down to where they should be. Uh, keep the old girl happy. Uh, suspension wise it's running some uh, pretty old two inch lift springs front and rear that have probably seen a better day or two but they're doing the job at the minute. Uh, two inch extended shackles on it. Uh, some long travel shock absorbers, uh, nothing really too special with them, just what I found that would fit and do the job that I wanted to do. Uh, diff wise, we're just standard Hilux diffs with uh, 488 diff gears out of a petrol Hilux, early model petrol Hilux. Uh, Gives us a good reduction when we're running the 35 inch uh, silver stones that we're running. Uh, again, make it a bit better to drive on the highway and when we're off road, having a bit of fun. Uh, I've also got an ARB air locker up front and a lock right rear locker in the rear, auto locker. Uh, which has been handling just fine. Standard axles in it. Uh, up the front for a bit of protection we've got an ARB steel winch bar with a Dominator winch which don't have to use that much because the old Hilux does alright. Uh, just got a 5 watt UHF aerial on there um, and up top we've got a uh, 42 inch curved light bar so it's a bit better at night because Hiluxes haven't got the best headlights to start with. Uh, I've also got a flat uh, tradesman's roof rack on there as well. Uh, and a couple, uh, I think there's six or eight lead uh, rear reverse lights on it so when you're out at night you can actually see what's going on behind you. Um, I've also got a, th a 2 meter by 3 meter awning with all LED strips in it uh, to keep it lit up at night. Uh, inside the old girl we've got a boost and an EGT gauge just to keep an eye on what the uh, motor's doing and make sure she's happy and going to get her same. Uh, I've got a whole heap of ARB style rocker switches to work various bits and pieces, lights, lockers, all the fun stuff. Uh, I've got a unident radio in there. Uh, Kept the unit out nice and hidden out of the way, so it's a bit, bit neater in there. Uh, upgraded the interior light to a fluoro light so you can actually see at night time, which is a bonus. Uh, I've got um, a set of FG XR6 seats in there for a bit more comfort, because Hiluxes ain't made comfortable, comfortable from the start, so anything to help. And for the whistlish for the future, uh, we're going to update all the suspension, new set of springs, shocks, uh, all the stuff to make it a bit more happier off-road and a bit more comfortable. Uh, also going to look at putting in a, a top mount intercooler on the on it to just keep the exhaust temps down a bit and so we can run a couple more PSI boost. Uh, also I want to finish off a rear canopy for it as well so I've got somewhere to store all the gear. A uh, set of rear drawers too would be nice but we'll get to that when we get there. Uh, some of my favourite places to go and have a bit of a play around Bunyip and Nuji and uh, Narbathong have recently after I've done a couple trips down there I've found a few good spots down there that are, that are good fun. Sort of stuff I like, more technical rock crawly sort of stuff. Uh, in the future I want to go down and do a trip down to Tasmania and I'd also like to do a trip up to the Cape York before the uh, development road gets all asphalted up there. Uh, and yeah, just do a bit more general touring around the uh, deserts and that sort of stuff and see how we go. Uh, thanks for listening to me talk about me Hilux and I uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, and uh, like to look forward to seeing you out on the track somewhere. Hey guys, Adam here from ADM Motors, Nuts About 4 Drive. Uh, what I wanted to just quickly work through with you on this episode, or just show you in this episode, is the differences between um, the HEMA app on something like an iPad and phone, uh, or the actual com complete GPS unit itself. Uh, just a very quick sort of overview on it, because that's a, a question I get a lot is, you know, what's the difference with the two? Um, apps on the phone and on the iPad are very, uh, very good easy to get hold of and very useful but what they really sort of do is just have a set of maps in the background and they position you on uh, on a map on a map in the system itself gives you a lot of detail you can change maps uh, according to where you are um, and uh, it's got some other information in that there but it's pretty pretty much basic and, and basically similar to have having uh, just paper maps and that with you except for the fact that it pop points you on the actual um, map itself. 
things like the uh, the HEMA HX1 is the is the upgraded GPS. This is uh, what HEMA actually offer now as their uh, their newest model. A brilliant system. Battery life has been upgraded on it as well since the HN1. Um, and what it has in it is is a street navigation plus an off-road navigation but it's also preloaded with things like um, Camps 9 and all that as well. Camps 9 will actually show you where, um, where a whole lot of um, uh, caravan parks are, free camping spots are, it'll give you details on, that, uh, on those sites and everything as well. Um, in the, in the uh, GPS um, on-road system, uh, it's really good because what it will do is actually um, notify you of what the speed limit is and if you go over speed it'll actually notify you that you're actually going too fast um, which is great for people with um, you know, bigger tyres and that sort of stuff in the four wheel drive where it's not being calibrated, the speedos aren't calibrated correctly I use it all the time plus when you've got a lady talking to you and you're just driving at night time by yourself it kind of keeps you awake at night as well so that's really cool um, in terms of the uh, the off-road mapping and everything um, again it uh, it has very detailed off-road mapping which is again just sort of similar to the paper maps and it plots you in a spot but the the differences with the with the HX1 really is it's become more sort of tablet form um, which makes it a lot easier to use on the run you can scroll in and scroll out um, it has different layers of maps and everything on there uh, at the tap of a button you can also um, you can also just sort of it can also come back to the spot where you are and there's search functions everything too the other thing it is now is also that it's Wi-Fi capable so all updates and everything you don't have to actually connect to a um, to a computer anymore to do all that it's actually Wi-Fi capable and all updates and everything can be done it as you, when you connect it to a Wi-Fi network there's a few other features in that in it as well but for me this uh, this HEMA HX1 is an absolute winner because it encompasses so much more. HEMA, HEMA systems on the phone and on the iPod pad work very similar. They're a great system to use, great mapping, but um, the HX1, honestly, um, there's so many more features over and above the iPad. If you're just looking for something that's just going to plot you in a spot, maybe an iPad is perfect for you. I'm a little bit of a HEMA nut myself, so I've got it on iPad. I've got the HX1, I've got the HX7. Uh, the HN7, I've got the HX1, I've got the uh, old HN5 that I bought years ago and I've got it on my phone so I'm sort of not getting lost at all. So guys, I hope that's been helpful. Like us on Facebook, check out our sto uh, online store at nutsaboutfordrive.com.au Stay on all fours and go nuts.
me a hospitable thing and help me a couple pages of the book. One of our Robe Beachport in South Australia 4x4 adventure. Uh, starting in Robe this morning. We got, oh, I don't know if it was halfway, but I'm going to call it uh, Nora's Crossing, uh, where we've turned out so we can uh, get back to the, the base camp. Uh, so we're going to come out tomorrow again, uh, starting from Beachport, and head north. And we'll probably finish up where we came out today. So, uh, all in all, it's been an awesome day. Some, are back there, mate. some great uh, you know, sand dunes, uh, nice uh, soft sandy beaches. The water was crystal clear and blue. Uh, yeah, couldn't ask for better weather as well. You know, clear blue skies, 23, 24 degrees. But if you ever like what you've seen, Please like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll catch you next week, part two of our Beachport Robe 4x4 adventure. I'm JB, see you soon.